A long, long time ago, far away, above the clouds, high up amongst the clouds of Mount Olympus, the gods lived in a content and happy life away from the humans. They enjoyed all the pleasures of life while humans were suffering on Earth. At times, when the gods were bored, they would play with the humans on Earth as well. They thought it was good fun by keeping away the fire from people for many, many years. People on Earth could cook and warm themselves using the fire, but without it, they were suffering. Prometheus, the son of Zeus, was a kind and compassionate man who took pity on mankind. When he saw the sorry state of humans on Earth without the fire, he took pity on them. He requested his father to give fire to the humans, but Zeus refused. So one night, he stole the fire from Zeus and gave it to the people on Earth. Zeus was very angry and ordered that Prometheus be chained to the side of a mountain to suffer there for all eternity. But that wasn't enough for Zeus. He decided to punish him further, and this time, he decided to trick his son. The gods created a beautiful woman called Pandora and took her to Prometheus. But Prometheus had his doubts. He was afraid that the gods were trying to trick him, so he decided to ignore her. However, his brother, Epimetheus, fell in love with the beautiful Pandora and decided to marry her. They got married and they lived happily together for many months. One day, Mercury, the messenger of the gods, arrived with a mysterious box. He asked Pandora and her husband to take care of it while he was away. Before he left, he warned them to never open the box. For days, Pandora could not take her eyes off the box. All the time, she wondered what was inside. Could it be full of shining jewels, glittering robes, or diamonds? Whenever Epimetheus was away and no one was around, Pandora would go near the box and run her fingers over the polished wood and the golden clasp. However, one day, she could bear it no longer and her curiosity overcame her. She crept up to the box and gently opened the clasp. Slowly lifting the lid, she peeked inside. Gods had filled the box with all kind of evils. Disease, misery, and death swooped and buzzed out of the box, stinging her. Pandora screamed and screamed with pain and fear. Epimetheus heard her cries as he rode into the courtyard. He ran to aid her, taking her into his arms, and comforted her as the evils flew out of their house and spread across the land. It was then that Epimetheus heard a tiny little voice calling from the box, Let me out! Let me out! Believing that nothing inside the box could be worse than the horrors that already got out, he opened the lid once more. All that remained was a tiny, crumpled butterfly shivering in the corner. The beautiful butterfly was hope, which Mercury had hidden amongst the evils, taking pity on mankind. Slowly, it unfolded its sparkling wings and brushed them against Pandora, healing her wounds. Ever since, humans have been able to hold on to this hope in order to survive the wickedness that Pandora had let out.